Hello fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stock and Stuff. I know you don't need another Hobby Lobby haul, but I just wanted to share really quickly what I got. I watched, This morning I got up and I saw all these Hobby Lobby haul videos. And so throughout the day when I had a chance, I watched them, most of them, that I, that, especially the people I've subscribed to, to see what you know what's going on why are the Hobby Lobby videos and I see that there's a possibility that paper crafting and jewelry may be going away so we had had three weather days in a row here in southwest Michigan and so I we got some sun today and I'm like I'm gonna do a Hobby Lobby hop so there's pretty much three Hobby Lobbies within 40 minutes of me and so I just said I'm gonna hop around and see what I get and so I just wanted to share really quick I went to three Hobby Lobbies three receipts but first I went to the bank and I withdrew some cash and I said I am NOT going to spend more than this and I was I came home with five dollars so I'm excited about that first of all my Hobby Lobby in my town had um, valent a little bit of Valentine's on the end cap and so these are ornaments and I got them for a quarter and I bought all that they had which was six because I thought they would be cute for happy mail for sharing and a swap maybe some ephemera or some um, sharing some charms and things in there so I just went ahead and got them they were a quarter so who can beat that and then I also got um, just some gift bags. They were the 10 pack because they were less. This this size was $1.49. This size was $1.99. They had a bigger size. But unfortunately, because of my move, I don't think that I'm going to actually do any craft fairs this year. But I just could not leave these bags where they were at this price. The next thing I got... Um, was paper and bling and some jewelry I did not organize this this video by store I organized it by the I the type of item all right so I went from the clearance over to the seasonal clearance over to the party section um, and I just kind of did the same trek through every store and I got this little cake banner because it says it's a girl and I'm doing a scrapbook and I thought that would be pretty in on a scrapbook page I'm doing a baby scrapbook and um, I got some bling I don't I may or may not have this one I don't know but anytime I see some bling that has pink green and purple in it I'm grabbing it because I love all those colors I got another pack of this because it matches my diamond prima paper um, and I didn't buy the bling that comes with it, but I love that this matches it. So I always grab a, when it's on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then I love these gems. And so I got that, the blue. Now the pink at the first store had chips in it. So I didn't get the pink there, but I found it at the last store. So I went on and got the pink. And these are strips, so I love that. And then this one was a thinner version and it had um, pink, green, and purple, so I had to grab it. And then uh, I got some Prima flowers. Don't know if I need that color or not. It may end up being a part of um, some gifts. And then bowls, which I kind of feel like I bought these already, but there we go. And then some more um, dimensional um, ephemera that I can use. And then I got, I'll come back to the stamps. I got these these glittery flowers. I got some dimensional, um, these are like foam flowers in those colors that you know I will use. And then I got some stickers for my, um, although they're bigger than I would probably use, but I got them, I'm thinking maybe for my calendar. Um, I do have a bunch of planner stickers, some I use, some I don't, but I liked them and they were 74 cents. And then I got this set for 74 cents and I just thought it would be really cute like on a superhero card and I just love those colors. Um, I haven't decided if I'm doing cards for Cubs this year. I gotta just see how my life is working out, but I know that deadline is looming. I got um, Mickey stamps because I have a little family, you see me craft for them before, that loves Disney 
and I also have um, someone else that I craft Mickey for. I was really looking for the Winnie the Pooh because somebody has hauled them on their video, but I couldn't find them in any of the three stores, so Winnie must be gone. I got the Fuchsia Pink Stays On because, you know, I use my Stays On, and I only have black and brown, but I use it a lot, like on wooden spoons and things like that, and um, I just love the having the pink because, you know, I use pink a lot. And then I went over to the jewelry section, and I literally was just looking for charms um, because, you know, people are always saying, you know, talking about dangles and all of this, and um, and I don't always need, you know, 50 pieces from AliExpress or Amazon, so I do try to watch Joanne and um, Hobby Lobby when they have, you know, these things on sale. So I got this set with the flowers for $1.24, and then I got this other set with kind of, um, it's kind of like a flower, but it's like, you know, rhinestone, gem, like, and then, um, I got some ribbon from the wedding department in gold, and, uh, I love it because it was 74 cents and it's 10 yards, and that's what took me over there. I do always go hit that clearance, but somebody on the video that I watched this morning talked about how it's 10 yards over there, and that's a lot. And then I got these um, pieces because I am doing a dangle this weekend for a swap. I'm going to have to make three. And I I just got these because um, it kind of looked like something that would match my theme. And then I'm also doing some wax seals. And I saw this on a haul because these are transparent. And I thought, wow, that's neat. So, um... I'm going to play around with wax seals because that will be the first time I've used them. And so I'll see how they turn out. The next thing, as I moved over to the stationery aisle, you know I make a ton of cards. And whenever I can find these envelopes on clearance, I am grabbing them. Um, and then I don't have to worry about it when I need them. And so I got my regular size that I use. And then I have my lady that always likes her 5 by 7 cards. So I make sure I have some for her. And then I got the Disney um, uh, discs, like for the notepads, which I keep buying these discs because I have a cinch and I haven't even taken it out of the box. But when I'm ready to do that, I will have all the little uh, discs that I need because <laughs> I keep catching them on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then I got a fourth set of gel pens in gold because I'm doing a swap and I'm not gonna share the theme yet because I'm gonna show that video and I thought that might be something I will add to that swap. Um, and they were gel pens for 74 cents and it's gold and I love using that on you know, darker colors and um, my Christmas cards even if I don't end up gifting them. And so the next section of things I got was paper. I know I do not need any paper. You do not need to remind me. But I'm going to tell you something funny about this. At all three stores, this same paper was three different prices. So at my store, this pad, I looked at it first. In my store in town, it was $3 and like $3.29. When I went to the first Hobby Lobby in the next town, it was like... um $3.99 and then when I went to the last store it was a dollar 74 and so I went on and grabbed it because I didn't really need it but you know at a dollar 74 and it has 60 sheets and it is actually cardstock it's not paper and I didn't even open it yet I'm trying to like bend my pages and I don't want to do that um, anyway, you can see on the front what the colors are, just kind of muted pinks and um, mixes, and I thought that would be cute probably on um, some, um, um, you know, the cards that, you know, I'll just be doing for sorority sister's birthday or whatever. And I got this um, baby, I got this baby boy pack, even though the book I'm doing is for a girl. But her mom's colors that she has chosen are yellow and and light green. And so I just saw some things in here that I figured I could use, even though it is for a little girl. Some of the colors I think will be fine for her book um, because there's not a ton of blue in there. It is mostly greens and yellows. So 
Um, hopefully I will be able to use that. And then I got the Flamingo because I don't need to tell you why. Because you know, I love those colors. Those are all my colors. Pink, green, purple. Those are my colors. Summer's coming. I'm excited about that. I have a beautiful flamingo stamp that I love to use and I haven't used it in a while so I may pull it out for my um, crack the vault stash and then I bought these two blessed to be stressed three minute devotions for women and I thought that would be a nice thing to put in some happy mail and so um, I think that that might be all I got but that total was $45 and I'm going to say I did pretty good for that. So I'm going to um, encourage you to run by your Hobby Lobby. Don't spend a lot. Don't buy anything you already have. Just browse the aisles and get some things you think you might use. Stay in a budget and have a great time. And we'll keep checking back because they're saying that they're going to keep putting more things on sale and I even saw some things on videos this morning that were not on sale yet not on clearance yet at my store so maybe next weekend I'll check back in thanks for watching have a great day